check this out. Vegan Teach, Sony V2 made a Vegan Teacher video, and it's gonna be really good. And I'm personally invested because that's my aunt he made a video about. All right, here we go. The time Gordon Ramsay destroyed the Vegan Teacher. The back and forth between Gordon Ramsay the back and the and Vegan Teacher was one of the funniest beefs in internet history. It wasn't that funny, you know? It wasn't that funny. Firstly, we need to set the stage Bible for the two team. contenders within this conflict. In the red corner, there was Gordon Ramsay, who not only holds the title My of favorite the world's chef. most famous chef, but also ranks in third place amongst the world's richest chefs with a net worth of wow. $220 million. It's like there's top, there's 10 that are rich and then all the others make like just above minimum wage, it seems like. It's hard to make money as a chef. Love Gordon Ramsay, cool dude. He likes hunting, things like that, things that I enjoy. Seems like a really smart, well-rounded guy with no anger problems whatsoever. No as pissed as I am! You get off! Donkey! No. The vegan teacher seems like a, uh, well, she's my aunt. So. His restaurants boast a total of 16 Michelin stars. That's a lot. And are so iconic that in 2006, the Queen of England awarded Gordon Ramsay the highest wow. excellence. His blunt confrontational branding is incredibly distinguished and recognizable, yet Gordon also has the ability to keep the content lighthearted and comedic whenever necessary. And he's f***ing handsome. And he's in good shape. And he's kinda hot. Am I the only one who thinks Gordon Ramsay's kinda sexy? In like, not a, not a, you know. Not a gay way, obviously, but in like a little bit of a, I'm on my grinder arc right now, so. He's also British though, so he's less sexy because of that. His TikTok page with over 33 million followers. He makes great TikToks. The TikTok TikToks. page rarely promotes anything serious, with his videos usually doing nothing more than laughing at the- Oh, come on. Come on, you donut! What is this? Oh no, you're not covering a filet mignon with fruity pebbles, no. No, 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 come on, dude. I'm gonna kick your butt. They're literally just doing this to troll Gordon Ramsay, obviously. And I think it's like this weird, everyone's in on it kind of social, social commentary thing where he knows that they're doing it just for him and they know they're just doing it just so he'll react to it. And then like, somehow it, we just pretend like it's real and it's funny, but I don't know. Well, at least my steak doesn't have fruity pebbles. Perfect medium rare. Perfect medium rare. Don't Specs forget to What's that? that marshmallow, marshmallow sauce, baby. <laughs> I th also think I think he's like a. Uh, I shouldn't say that out loud. I think he can spew bile on uh, on on command. He throws up in a lot of shows. He can just like eat something slightly disgusting and then just. <laughs> like some kind of creature. Amongst the most respected celebrities of all time, whilst our other contender true, in the blue him. corner, that vegan teacher, is down there amongst teacher. the least respected celebrities of all time. That's true. She started her social media journey back in early 2020, and as mentioned in the pre- Do that sound again? <laughs> Her goal is to mischaracterize the most beloved influencers she loves doing by framing that. them in any way possible as terrible anti-vegans who are trying that. to destroy the world by eating meat. You're just so happy that Mr. Beast bought a, a whole store full of food and donated to the poor, right? What mm -hmm. did that include? Innocent chickens who were murdered. The I don't whole care. thing is wrong. Nothing that I don't he care. did in that equation was animals here, people here, right? Animals here, people here. And then animals we love here, and then animals we eat here. And then people here. You know, it's like, I don't, you know, I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but this is just how it works though, you know? Her achievements include being banned from TikTok numerous times, having an average channel dislike ratio of not well a over good. 50%, not as a good well as ratio. owning the largest vegan documentary DVD collection in the Northern Hemisphere. Almost all of her growth has joke? come from commentary channels talking about how terrible her takes are on topics relating to food. Yeah. Vegan teacher, I think you have this problem of just not really realizing that no one is really you ever really care has about had a message quite that you're a feud with my own. And from the get-go, it's obvious that the vegan teacher had absolutely no authority in comparison to Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A bit of an understatement. And the vegan teacher, always looking for someone to call out, she'd begin the conflict on TikTok with a video explaining to Gordon Ramsay that animals weren't food from her perspective. So Gordon, one of the problems that I Gordon noticed Lamb that you have is you don't seem to understand the difference between food and animals. Mm -hmm. Food is something that you get out of the ground or you no. take it from a tree. No, it's and not. it's something that's very healthy for us. It's something that you can run faster than or have superior weapons then. That's generally what, as a, as non-obligate carnivores, human beings have been eating meat for two million years on a consistent, regular basis. We've only really been eating stuff from the ground on a consistent, regular basis, uh, primarily for 12,000 years since the invention of agriculture. Um, the uh, Inuit people never ate anything from the ground. They just eat like whale blubber and shit like that. You know, it's kind of natural, pretty much, so. <laughs> 
me when I think of eating vegan food. Animals are alive. Chickens and cows, I love eating live things. Sheep. These things are not actually foods. Now to give the vegan are, teacher credit no. where credit is due, they her argument not. here wasn't all that terrible. She presented it in a persuasive, logical, non-forceful way using points Originally she was by anybody. The idea that if there's food on the trees teacher. and in the ground, then maybe it's best not to eat animals and is a pretty off appealing idea when you take it as a basic surface level argument. However, from this point onwards, yes. it will become apparent that this was pretty much the only appealing logical argument she'd make as her disdain yes. for Gordon and and then she also realized that she gets more uh more, there's more exposure when she acts crazy or or, or compares the uh she just says that there's an animal holocaust and compares it to what happened in the the, the late 30s and 40s in in uh under the third reich that like she really is great at trolling people and making them angry she's sort of like the andrew tate of vegans if you really think about it. This can be observed in the next video she Could be food if you wanted to eat it, a 27 minute long video, which began by describing Gordon Ramsay as the following. Today we're gonna to talk about I do the like devil. That shirt. The devil's name is Gordon Ramsay. A devil is defined as a creature that does nothing but <laughs> harm in the world. The vegan teacher's justification sure. for Gordon Ramsay being the devil was that he was paying to make himself look good on camera. When you have a lot of money, you can pay people to film you in whatever light that you want and yes. make your life seem That's like what I do. one giant trip to Disneyland. I do that. I do that. I don't ever I don't ever act sad in my videos and I proclaim random facts as if like like things like uh I think small children would make great me a great meal in, in a pinch. Like a square nap. A good square nap would be a little a kid, right? You know? Okay, never mind. We'll forget I said that. What about testicles? Can we eat testicles? Yes! Yes! Wasn't only the devil, but was also a psychopath, as he was not able to empathize I'm with kidding. the meat he was I'm cooking. Fucking. He's a kind of psychopath who the really psychopath. cannot see into He's the a dirty eyes devil. of an animal and see them as sentient beings. Maybe he truly is disconnected. The stupidity of the video was True, I guess, maybe. Stan Gordon Ramsay, the king, the legend, the god. Whoa. Gordon, don't listen to her. I love Gordon Ramsay's savage remarks and Damn. his food, as well as Gordon Ramsay is the best person ever since Holy Jesus Christ shit. Himself. That is a bold statement there at the, at the end. I mean, I'm not even a religious man, but that is a very bold statement. Whoa. Imagine that vegan teacher being stuck in the back room telling the monsters in there about veganism. That'd be like if she came over to my house and told me about it. Really. My friends. However, despite the backlash and support for Gordon, under the assumption that he would never respond, the vegan teacher doubled down on the criticism by uploading that another video baller. stating that Gordon Ramsay was Ooh. a terrible father because he did the TikTok egg challenge with his daughter. Why is Gordon Ramsay wow, okay. such a terrible father? Why does he teach his children speciesism, which is the purest form of racism? Which was a no, it's literally not. That's so stupid. That's when she really loses me, bro. I can see what she's saying, right? In a vacuum, I can see what she's saying, but that, 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 you have to take away any sound logic or reason that is based on our current society and humanity as a whole. And then it makes sense logically. But it, you have to have these preconceived notions of just absolute insanity. Phew. My own do be kind of silly. By a Gordon Ramsay diss track titled Why Are You a Whoa. Vegan Phobic Animal Bully? Whoa. However, while this diss track failed to grab the celebrity chef's attention, it would that be with cringe. one song on TikTok shortly thereafter that Eating the vegan teacher would is finally wrong. be Gordon noticed Ramsay. by Gordon Ramsay. Hurting Ramsey. animals is wrong, Eating Gordon Ramsay. Oh my God, look at him. He's eating donut, lettuce. Vegan donut. Oh, bro. <laughs> that was awesome. I love that moment so much. My penis just extended. Reliving that. I have an extendo panic. panic. All right, guys. Whew. My aunt does have a screw loose. She's a crazy bite out of a juicy beef burger. Juicy As the comments began to roll in, it was obvious that burger. people loved Gordon's hilarious response. My respect for Gordon Ramsay. Nice to meet you, you vegan donut. We've been waiting for this. That is countless awesome. news articles were written about the event in favor of Gordon. The video response would go on to gain over 60 million views, oh which was my more than the vegan teacher's total YouTube viewership combined. Holy. However, this was still only the beginning of the conflict. I didn't know it was that big, dude. I didn't know. Is she still relevant? I think she's back on TikTok now, too. I think she's actually still, she's actually still doing shit. 
She's looking good too. Is that her tolerance to criticism is on a whole different level. Most she creators pretend that they don't care Darman? about criticism, but the vegan teacher seems to be one of the very few who legitimately couldn't care less about what people have to say about her. She Despite really being doesn't roasted by care. the entire world for a song about Gordon Ramsay, she'd brush it off as if it were nothing and upload another song as a response. She really does not give a at Gordon all. Ramsay's TikTok was laughing at the trillions that had died and that he was bullying the most innocent of animals just for fame. In addition to this, bullying. the vegan teacher would criticize Gordon's level of maturity. His response was to eat an animal in front of me. Does that sound like the response of somebody who's in their 50s? Yes, it does. Especially Gordon Ramsay. He's got 16 Michelin stars. I don't think he gives a f about uh, you. I don't either, to be honest. But at the same time, I do pretend to care sometimes. And then that does make me care a little bit. Does that make sense? I think there's something wrong with it. She doesn't fucking care. Talk about having a lack of lack of empathy to trolls and haters. Shoo! She just let like water off a duck's back. She just fucking does not care at all. Please accept me, auntie. Please. Before going on to compare his TikTok response as similar to World War II. Think oh. back to World War II and what happened there. This man right. thinks it's okay for Which that part? to continue to sentient beings. What? Which was concluded by the vegan teacher uploading another video in which he'd have a mental breakdown over the response. And you just said it was okay to keep joking! <laughs> <laughs> Not a good fit to start screaming in. She's normally dripping. That is a uh, psychiatric word fit. She looks like she's in the background uh, of a scene in a movie in which the 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 fucking Alvin and the Chipmunks just got signed to a new record label. You guys know what I mean? Flash, you fucking moron. She, I mean, talk about devaluing a, a major cultural event, a major, major horrible event. World War II. This is insane. I've never seen this. Shopping carts, like all of this. Even her mic's all fucked up. The she vegan teacher crying. snapping back at Gordon Ramsay gave enough substance yeah, what a to the commentary that was. community to make their own videos on the drama, with uploads from Pancho, Jaden, and Bray all gaining pretty substantial view counts. The Pancho, amount of exposure Jaden the beef was Bray. providing to Gordon Ramsay was observed in a forum post reading, I think it's oh. clever marketing. He made the obvious choice, siding against her. Short, easy to make a video employing a famous catchphrase yeah. of his, guaranteed to blow Big up and receive massive support. Now all of us, including me, are talking about the guy mostly in a positive light. He's built on his reputation of being rude, funny, honest, and relevant yes. without generating too much personal controversy. He handled the matter yeah, he, incredibly masterful. well. While Gordon Ram what are you going to get mad at him? He hasn't changed anything. He's not doing anything different. He just made a small joke. And then she, ha she had a... Uh uh, big chungus moment where she just fucking getting freaked. It's not like the vegan teacher wasn't getting any benefit we aren't from just it. In the month that Gordon responded via TikTok, the vegan teacher's YouTube viewership would increase from less than 200,000 views per month That's still to not well bad. over 2.5 million views That's per good. month. And with the vegan teacher observing how much traffic this first response provided, she began to mm. fish for another by uploading more videos critical of Gordon Ramsay. And, and then she uploaded another video, part two, where she had, instead of pigtails, she had quadru quadru pigtails. And then she started screaming more, and then she did it. Does she have an OnlyFans? Absolutely, she has an OnlyFans for sure. Maybe I don't know. Actually, I don't know if that's vegan or not. Gordon Ramsay should be in jail while sporting some fresh. That's new crazy. Gordon Ramsay is an animal of that is fresh. merch, which was followed by another video that in is which the vegan teacher would try and make Gordon lose one of his sponsors. Hello, Silk Milk. Apparently, you're oh paying God. money to Gordon Ramsay to promote your product. How crazy is that? Don't Fun fact: Hitler was vegetarian. Oh my God. Check and mate, all right? Vegan teacher, and he had syphilis, <laughs> okay? He doesn't care about your milk. He's not even no, he vegan. Doesn't care. Why would you want him to promote this wonderful product that I drink myself every day? Now I'm no sure Gordon Ramsay could have yet again annihilated the vegan teacher by mocking her outlook on life in another TikTok, yet his next response was actually a little more elegant he responded and wholesome. Again? As a result of his first response to the vegan teacher, countless farmers created their own TikToks oh, thanking Gordon this, yeah. Ramsay for sticking up for the meat industry, stating that people similar to the vegan yep. teacher had interrupted their daily to life and even sent them death threats as a result of being farmers. Gordon would take a bunch of these clips before compiling and uploading them That's as a awesome. compilation video with a caption reading, always standing behind farmers, Absolutely. grateful for the work they do and passion they have on a daily basis. Every chef needs Hashtag a farmer. Every chef needs a farmer. I agree with that completely. There's not enough love for farmers out there. I grew up in a family of farmers. I even have uh, four cattle right now. Um, one of them has a questionable name that I'll probably need to change. Can we get some, can you, can we smash like for farmers right now? Can we have a, a smash like for farmers?
Just kidding, that will not benefit farmers in any way. But buy 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 food, local food. Go to farmers markets if you if you have one. Go to farmers markets. That's my advice to you. But yeah, it's very cute. It's a very cute little cow. I love it. I've got four of them. And also two horses. So and two dogs and a cat. And no maidens. Amassing 30 million views with almost every yeah, single comment good. saying something positive. Good. Yet this only seemed to give the vegan teacher another opportunity to respond. She hates She'd upload a new video titled Gordon Ramsay Stop Encouraging <laughs> People to Steal, in which she addressed the Thieves. second response. In this video that 19.5 million people saw, these are that some farmers who are saying thank you to Gordon Ramsay. The gentleman at the beginning, he is saying thank you to Gordon Ramsay because he's saying, you know, we really appreciate that you are giving us the green light to keep hurting these innocent cows before yeah. stating that she had started to address each of the farmers hurting innocent animals is really easy if it turns out it turns out hurting innocent animals is really easy i do it every day three times a day you know by eating sandwiches i mean what about making vegan food one thing that i've always wondered is like the amount of death and destruction that goes into just eating in general there's got to be an overarching theme there is an overarching theme of consumption to all living things and you have to kind of accept that right and human beings we're on at like a point to where we can go past what's required to succeed and be healthy. Um, but uh, like, I don't know. I took two of these farmers and I made videos d dedicated towards them. I didn't have time yet to do all of them. At this point, Gordon Ramsay likely realized that oh, giving the it. vegan teacher any extra attention was a oh, lost cause, it. as there will be no more responses from his end. Good job, yet Gordon. The damage had already I wish been I done. knew better. It was stated by the vegan teacher in a YouTube video that her only goal was to get the world's attention. On TikTok, I do whatever I can to get the world's attention. You gotta do a song and a dance and be crazy Eating and do whatever it wrong. takes to get people's attention True. and then when the attention is there then you maybe have the chance to get them a little tiny bit interested in what you're saying of that sub substance and this is exactly That's a good what point. she managed to do That's the a vegan good point. teacher achieved a certain level of notoriety and became widely talked about largely due to a video mentioning ramsey gordon got 90 million views he out made of it. her the vegan career. teacher got an online career out of it so maybe it was simply a win-win for both huh. individuals i think it was because she doesn't care at all about what people say and she's not going to change she's not going to start eating meat She'll not see reason, and then we will not see reason. The end. <laughs>